The sita contains three octaves. Let's start with the middle or madhya sa. This sita has been tuned to C sharp. We are now going to play sa, re, ga, ma, pa, dha, ni and sa, which is the first note of the third octave or the tar saptak. This is the Madhya Saptak. This is the higher octave or the Tar Saptak Sa. We have played all of the pure notes, also known as the Shuddha Swaras. We can now play the lower octave, also known as Mandra Saptak. Now we will play Ni, Dha, Pa. Ni, which is called Mandra Saptak. Mandra Ni, Dha, Pa. The open string is Ma. The second string on the fourth fret is Ga. The second string on the second fret is Re. And the open second string is the lower octave Sa or the Mandra Sa. Now let's cover the three octaves or subtucks. Play all of the major notes with a dart stroke on the main string from Mandra Saptak Pa to Tar Saptak Ga. Let's play the Shuddha Swaras or the pure notes using the Ras stroke. Next, let's alternate the Da and Ra strokes. This is the Madhya Saptak. This is the higher octave or the Tar Saptak Sa. We have played all of the pure notes, also known as the Shuddha Swaras. We can now play the lower octave also known as Mandra Saptak. Now we will play Ni, Dha, Pa. Ni, which is called Mandra Saptak. Mandra Ni, Dha, Pa. The open string is Ma. The second string on the fourth fret is Ga. The second string on the second fret is Re. And the open second string is the lower octave Sa or the Mandra Sa. Now let's cover the three octaves or subtucks.
Play all of the major notes with a dart stroke on the main string from Mandra Saptak Pa to Tar Saptak Ga. Let's play the Shuddha Swaras or the pure notes using the Ras stroke. Next, let's alternate the Da and Ra strokes. Mm -hmm. 